going on guys? Welcome back to another video. As promised, this is the full length step-by-step -step tutorial for how to take your F-150 logos, badges, whatever you want to call them, break them apart and give them an awesome custom paint job. I'll be showing you guys every single step along the way from disassembly to prep to paint to finish. Let's get to work. Now these badges break apart into a couple different pieces. This blue outline overlay right here comes off and this um, outer ring is a separate piece as well. You'll have this chrome plasticky piece underneath and then this part will remove as well. This part right here um, is what is filling in the D right here and I believe the O right over here. Now as far as your options for breaking this guy apart, the process is like this. You've got these plastic welds along here, these larger ones, which keeps the blue overlay piece in, and then you have these much, much smaller ones along the outside right here. You're gonna need to have some sort of way to break those from the backhand side. What you can do is you can either attempt to drill them out with a drill and some sort of drill bit like this, you can take a flathead screwdriver and like a chisel or something and maybe like chip away at it. A lot of people don't have this tool. I happen to have one, so I'm gonna be using this small Dremel rotary style tool and I'm just gonna be taking like a little grinding wheel or maybe I'll be doing like another small drill bit right here and I'll be going along and lightly just drilling or grinding down the outsides of these, breaking it off and then once you've broken all those uh, welds off, this guy will pull back. You'll be able to flip this over and these guys will just kind of fall and pull right out. Now this badge specifically came off of a 2020 Ford F-150, my own personal truck. If you guys are looking for a video for how to remove the front grill on one of those trucks, I made one of those as well. I'll leave it linked below. I believe it's only about four minutes long. It's a pretty simple process. You do need to remove the front grill in order to gain access to that. Once you've removed the grill, as you can see, there are one, two, and where's the third one? Yeah. Two on this side, one over here, and they just have like little nuts on them that you unscrew. So once you've removed the front grill, you can take the badge off, and that's the process for doing that. This rotary tool specifically came off of Amazon. It was only 16 or 17 bucks, and does a decent job being that it's a uh, battery powered one. I really wanna stress that you need to be very careful and take your time when you're drilling out the back plastic welds on this thing. Here is a badge that I did already and practiced on, and at first glance it looks awesome, and I am actually really proud of the way that it turned out. However, I was not taking my time, and I was pressing too hard with the drill, and as you can see, there's a hole that I actually punched through the badge right there. There's a small chip up there, and there's like a straight up, like decently large hole that I put in this badge right there. These guys are plastic, they're very brittle, so take your time. Focus more so on breaking the outside edges of the plastic welds rather than drilling through them to break them. Once you've, break, once you've broken them, rather, they will fall right out. Don't worry about giving it force and actually trying to drive to press these things out. No lie though, kinda wish I had a red truck so I could do badges like this for it. So I found the best process for breaking down the plastic welds to be to use a grinding wheel attachment for the rotary tool. Go after them, break them down, grind them down a little bit, and then use either a flathead screwdriver or a pocket knife if you guys have one, and use that to chip off all the pieces once they've been broken down. They can easily be chipped off using the corner of a screwdriver or a knife. I really want to stress guys, take your time doing this. It will be worth it when the finished product turns out the way it does. You don't want to put holes in it like I did on the first try. All right guys, and after you've finished with all your drilling and whatnot, I've only done the large pieces so far, but do you see how easy that just popped right out? Um, so now you'll see these little guys kind of sticking through. You should be able to just kind of give it a little and you might be able to tell right now it's already sticking up a bit. Um, again, just be gentle, you know, you're not rushing anything, you're not forcing anything, just everything should be able to lightly fall through and you guys can see it's, it's raised all the way around. You should be able to just pull this right out. Alright, we've got these two pieces separated, now you're gonna, whoop, almost knocked my drill over, now you're gonna drill through these smaller plastic welds along the out hand outer edge side and that's what's going to remove this small blue overlay piece right here. 
And there you have it guys. In my opinion, this is the hardest part, getting everything um, disassembled without breaking anything. Now we're ready to start prepping and painting. And now that we have everything broken down and disassembled, we're gonna wash these, then we're gonna sand it down with 220 grit sandpaper. We're gonna wash it again, let it dry, and then we'll hit it with our coat of primer. Okay guys, so now that we're ready to start prepping and painting, this is the Krylon, it's a gray primer. I figure since there's gonna be uh, gray and black going on the bottom of these, a gray primer would be nice. Um, for the black portion of the badge, we are going to be using this Fusion all-in-one gloss black. Normally I would use um, the 2X Painter's Touch by Rust-Oleum. Unfortunately, it's really hard to find that in a gloss black right now. Um, for the gray that's gonna be color matching the truck, we're using this can from Spectral Paints. Picked it up off of Amazon. This is gonna be a lead foot gray, as you can see right there, color match to the truck. And then along with that from the same company, we have got their clear coats. This is gonna be what is going over the top of the finished product. Here's the badge with the first coat of primer on it. These are plastic parts, so I am gonna take my time, try and get some nice uh, primer on them. You guys can use Adhesion Promoter if you want. We just want to make sure that the paint sticks and nothing chips off once we're finished. Alright, so the second coat of primer is on, it has dried. So these three pieces right here are going to be the lead foot gray color match paint that we got from Amazon. This is just going to be a basic gloss black Krylon paint product, which I picked up from like Lowe's or Home Depot, I forget which one. But we're going to be doing three to four base coats on each color, and then we're gonna be doing the clear coat over the top. Guys, this is the final coat um, on this guy right here. I need to give a shout out to Krylon. I've never been that big of a fan of their products in the past, but this guy laid so flat and so wet, it looks amazing. I am very excited to see what this guy looks like when he's perfectly dry and then we get some clear coat over him as well. This is what it looks like with the fourth and final coat on this guy. And if you guys watch my other video uh, where I painted the front part of my grill, you guys already know that this paint lays on amazingly. Okay guys, the clear coat that we're going to be using now that we've gotten all the layers of the base coat on these guys is going to be from the same company as the lead foot gray paint, and that is this Spectral Paints Company. I'll leave it linked below on Amazon. It's a pretty good deal. Um, this one can um, of the lead foot gray and the primer, or I'm sorry, the clear coat from this company has lasted me two different projects. The first one being when I painted the uh, Ford Raptor grill on my F-150, and now it has also given me enough to do this project as well. So it goes a decently long way for the amount that you pay for it. Okay guys, so with everything already painted, clear coated and all that kind of stuff, it's time to glue all this back together. We are gonna be using some focus, some Loctite glue. Um, all we're gonna be doing is just dabbing it in, in random places around here and then applying these guys over the top of it. I will note that there is a top and bottom way um, for this smaller part, so I would highly suggest dry fitting it up first to make sure that it's gonna be installed the right way before you actually like get the glue and everything and apply it. I just stuck this guy in the background over here because this is the first one I did and I think it turned out pretty cool, so you guys will just get to see that in the background. But yeah, we're just gonna take some of this and dab it in, in random places around here and then we will uh, fit these guys into place.
All right, we're just pressing all around the outside just to make sure that everything is set in. So far, it looks pretty good. Um, we obviously have to fit in this backing piece for the F and the D right here as well. So we're gonna apply a little bit of glue on this guy as well. Probably should have put the back piece on first, but you live and you learn. Snap that guy into place. Everything's starting to come together real nicely. And now we've just got this outer edge right here to apply. There's a pretty easy little track in here already made for you to put the stuff in. Simple enough. Just make sure that you don't get any on your hands or your fingers and then go to actually touch this because you could mess up the paint or something like that. You hear all these push pins snapping back into place. And then I would just keep an eye out on the edges for any, um, any bits of glue that might be like seeping through the cracks or anything like that. Uh, you'll definitely want to wipe that off. Alright. Looks like these guys aren't quite snapped in place. There we go. I heard some snaps there. There we go. And there you have it. Nice lead foot gray color matched F-150 right there. And we're gonna let this guy dry and then you guys will see the finished product shortly. All guys I'm super happy with the way that this badge turned out as you can see the color match is flawless the gray is perfect the black goes with the black lettering that I have on the tailgate already I'm definitely going to be switching out the rear badge with a color match one just like this and that is the entire process guys thank you so much for watching this video um, I'm really happy with the way that both of these turned out. Obviously, I put a hole in this one and whatnot, but the way that these turned out is pretty dang cool, and honestly, it's really simple as well. Um, you can do projects like this for so much cheaper than if you took it to a auto shop or a paint shop like that. Um, it's a very doable, very beginner-friendly DIY project that you guys can do at home. If you guys have any questions at all about the process or maybe something that I didn't cover, Leave it down in the comments below and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for everybody who's watching, supporting me and subscribing. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers and I'm very, very excited to hit that milestone on my channel. Again, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. We'll see you guys on the next video.